mopping with a very special mushling called Notkins the Bedtime Bunny. So snuggle down, close your eyes, cozy up, and relax. What's your favorite dream? Perhaps you go to Bobo Land or somewhere in between. Maybe you surf rainbow waves or drift through outer space or jump on flying unicorns to fly from place to place. But wouldn't it be great if you could visit others' dreams? To check out what they dream about. And see where they have been. Well, there's a little Moshling who can do that any time. Especially when it's twilight and the moon begins to shine. Her name is Notkins, very cute and normal as can be. She lives inside a burrow right beside a willow tree. But unlike other bedtime bunnies, Notkins has a skill other Moshling's dreams and hop in them at will. Dream hoppy, dream hoppy, dream hop with me. Quite exciting, jumping into someone else's dream. A bit like surfing channels, but without the TV screen. And every night at bedtime, Nodkins goes on an adventure. By thinking of the Moshling's name, whose dream she'd like to enter. Tonight, she starts with Tiki, cause his dreams are always fun. They usually take place on islands, bathed in golden sun. She concentrates, then suddenly, she boings onto a beach, where Tiki's playing croquet with a giant fuzzy peach. Several minutes later, Nodkins hops out of the dream, deciding that she'd like to try a different moshy scene. She thinks of Mr. Snoodle and starts whispering his name. Then boings aboard a carriage on his sleepy twilight train. Dream hoppy, dream hoppy, dream hop with me.
Traveling in a snoodly dream is mellow, calm, and soothing. But then the train falls silent, as if no longer moving. Nodkins looks outside and sees they're soaring through the skies. Past giant cups of herbal tea. And pumpernickel pies. Following her flight on board this dreamy flying train, Nodkins now decides it's time to dream hop once again. She thinks of Uncle Scallops and boings into his dream, and sees he's gently snoozing. In his mellow submarine. Next, she visits Captain Squirk, who dreams of cosmic sheep. And seen as he lives in space, they never bar, they beep. Boinging in, she watches space sheep orbiting a planet. A little moon, or giant pomegranate. Dream happy, dream happy, dream happy with me. Make sure your dream. Seeing all these moshy dreams is really quite surreal, and Nodkins really loves it, 'cause the things she sees aren't real. But sometimes, every now and then, she likes to intervene, especially when her actions help to shape a moshling's dream. Tonight, the dream she's meddling in belongs to Marshall Ned, a panto pony moshling who's a proper sleepyhead. The dream he's having right now is as random as can be. He's ironing his trousers on a surfboard in the sea. Ned looks rather troubled as the seas just turn to sky, and now he's stranded on a cloud, and ponies cannot fly. So Nodkins gets a trampoline and shouts for Ned to leap, which Ned does in an instant, though he's really sound asleep. Dream happy, dream happy, dream happy with me. Make sure your dreams are as sweet. To Panto Pony, Nodkin starts to ponder. I wonder what would happen if my mind was left to wander. She tries to think of nothingness and empty out her mind, but all she sees are moshling dreams of each and every kind. First, she sees a forest filled with shoes and melting clocks, where wumples play on chessboards, 
wearing massive woolly socks. Next, she visits Waldo's dream, a tabby nerdy cat who's cycling on a rainbow, wearing nothing but a hat. tries once more to concentrate on nothing much at all, but hops into a mermaid on a giant glitter ball. She looks above and notices a duck on a trapeze, and wonders if these moshlings have been eating too much cheese. Dream happy, dream happy, dream happy with me. Make sure your dreams are as sweet as can be. Night continues. Notkins hops from dream to dream. Some are crazy, some are mellow, some are quite extreme. She dream hops on a nightly basis just to have a peep. And even though she dozes off, She's never quite asleep. Perhaps this might explain why Nodkins always feel so weary. She needs to have her own sweet dreams. Well, that's the general theory. So snuggling in her blanket, she whispers her own name, then finds herself in Nutmeg Nook, beside a winding lane. Wandering past a willow tree, she sees a bedtime bunny. She looks familiar, Notkin says. I think that's me. How funny. Then finally, it dawns on her. My own dreams are the best. So she boings off with her dreamy friend to have a good night's rest. Goodbye and sweet dreams.
Dream.